Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. I'm being joined by Mega Brain 600. We are getting on a ferry from Tokushima to Tokyo. It's right behind us here. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> and the amazing thing about this particular ferry, what is the amazing thing about this boat? The food is all from vending machines. That's right, all vending machines. So we're fixing to get some. Number A11, right here. Oh, hello. So we've got two bunks on this side and two bunks on this side. There it is. It's a gloomy, rainy day, but we'll try to stay dry. Yeah, oh, we'll get a tugboat over here to help securing us. See how these work? Pull them down like this. Watch out. Yeah. That's pretty comfortable. What's for breakfast? Check out this machine right here. They've got three different kinds of soups in here. There's a corn potted soup, there's clam chowder, and there's minestrone. And then on the top, these are all miso soup. I'm gonna get the clam chowder. Okay. Mm. And if it looks like a muggle, we're coming. Well, come in. Good choice. Mmm, looks good. They have this right here, these spicy eggs by the Yamachan company. It's right in there. Gotta have eggs for breakfast. I guess we can heat these up, huh? Next up, we're gonna get some bread. And it's this one right here. Satsumaimo, which is a Japanese sweet potato. Looks nice. Mmm, that looks good. And let's get some hot foods here. This is the kapo rice with the egg on it. That's perfect for breakfast, isn't it? Five bucks. There it is, so there's the egg right there. Interesting, it's some meat over rice. This should be good. The creamy clam chowder. Hey, it's for your own foods. I guess this will just be like simple. Also gonna heat up the eggs. Good. They look more like potatoes, don't they? You know what? It's because they are potatoes. I thought they were eggs. Are they eggs or are they potatoes? We'll let you know. Oh, that's looking nice and hot.
Number three. This is the miso soup. I'm gonna put the hot water. And voila, we've got miso soup. We've got the infamous cup noodle machine by the Nissin Company. And here's a new one, I've never seen this. Smoky Spicy Seal. Very reasonable, 140 yen, about a dollar 30. Go. All right, looks good. And what's great about this machine is right here, you've got the hot water. Oh yeah. And just push the button. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Yep. See inside there? Yeah, that's pretty snazzy. Oh yeah. Okay, instant ramen right there. All from one machine. Love it. Alright, starting off with the soup. Oh my, that's really thick. Still a little, a little bit watery. Watery, well, that's how miso soup is. Yeah. Next up are the eggs. They look more like potatoes, but they're eggs. Spicy eggs for breakfast, oh boy. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's not that spicy, but it's good though. It's like a hard boiled egg but the white of the egg has turned into a breading, if that makes any sense. All right, we're gonna split this up here, the guppo rice, split the egg in half. And the meat. Some interesting looking meat on there. Okay, that looks good. Oh, this is full of flavor. I'm tasting some eggplant here, some chili peppers. Asian stew, perfect for breakfast. Got the egg on there. I think I never had a couple of ours. Really? I think you're gonna like it. Mm. It's nice, isn't it? Not bad. <laughs> <laughs> so now we're gonna add the olive oil into the ramen. Most of it I got on my fingers. Oh well. <laughs> it says black pepper and basil chicken flavor. Going in for the ramen. I didn't get any soup with mine. Let me have a sip. Wow. That's really strong, isn't it? <laughs> it's peppery and salty. It's, yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. Time for something to drink. Let's see. Oh, they got energy drink. That's pretty cool. We got Mountain Dew. That's pretty hard to find in Japan. I think I'm gonna go for coffee. It is still morning. Look at all the different types of Boss coffees there are. So many to choose from. Guess I gotta go for this one, the Double Impact. This is the one they're trying to promo. Definitely a cool looking label, huh? I'm gonna have milk tea. Milk tea, good choice. These are popular in Japan, aren't they, the milk teas? Yeah. Nice. To the boss. That would be you. Cause you're wearing my t-shirt. Look at that ladies and gentlemen. He's got the nom 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 cat eating the purple noodles. It's available in my store. Oh, that's one of the top sellers. And I'm still taking the stairs. <laughs> I got, pretty soon I just gotta start doing escalators cause my knees are starting to really hurt. I'm tasting the impact. How's the milk tea? Milky. This is actually kind of milky too, but there is a good flavor. I can taste that the coffee bean is a, is a stronger bean than the typical. This is good for morning. All right, let's try the bread. There it is, sweet potato bread. Mm. It's so sweet. It's got layers, so soft. It's, soft. it's really good. So I'll tell you what, that was a pretty amazing meal from a vending machine for breakfast, right? Yeah. I don't think I've ever eaten vending machine food breakfast before.
what is that called? A card fan? Yeah. That's pretty good. You only dropped one. That's hard to do. I worked on that for a while and gave up. Nice. That's pretty tight. He's got it. <laughs> Here's the view from our window. Everything's gray today. So we're gonna be playing a lot of cards. We got a lot of change. We're not gonna be gambling, but we just happen to have some change because this is for the vending machines on the boat. For the vending machines, not not for this. Okay, don't let's not mix these up, okay? A lot of machines to choose from here. They've got four of the hot foods vending machines. Four or five. There's another one over this way. And it looks like the stuff is prepared by professional chefs. I mean, this is gourmet food from vending machines. This is okonomiyaki right here. You get two of them for 800 yen. Definitely got to try that. I've never seen okonomiyaki from a vending machine. Pretty heavy, huh? Pretty heavy. Yeah, nice. Okay, and this is gonna go in microwave C. So let's just go do that right now. We're gonna do them one by one today, make it easier. Okay, and this is the Okonomiyaki number five. All right, and now we wait a couple minutes. Let's see what the Asahi beer machine has to offer. Beer, of course. But also, they've got they've got Nika whiskey in here, which is nice. And they've got some of these Chu High cocktails, grape, and oh, this is like the orange one. It's a it's from Kyushu. This is kind of a special one. It's a sapari to do. It's a very sort of tart orange, not sweet. One fifty. Try that. Yes. A little spillage. Oops. Oh, no, that's what happens when you, yeah. So you have to puncture each one of the bags. That's okay. That's good. Drink time. Who's going for the energy drink? I think this is a Japan maker, right? This is G. G zone, it's called. Okay, so we're gonna prepare the toppings here. Got the sauce and then the bonita flakes. Yeah, we shouldn't have heated up the sauce, but oh well. Make the best of it. There's more sauce over there, actually. Gotta get some mayonnaise on here. Definitely gotta get some mayonnaise. And then the Bonita Flex. Oh, that's looking pretty good, actually. And the alnori. Alnori, seaweed, okay. Seaweed. And a little bit more of the mayonnaise. Just because. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. To the boat ride. Yeah. Oh, that's a good orange. It's a summer orange. It's got a tartness, but it's not sweet, if that makes sense. This tastes like Monster Energy Drink. Uh, just like Monster? Yeah. yeah. But the price is cheaper, right? That was 160? Yeah. And Monster's like 200, right? Okay. We're going in. So Okonomiyaki, I mean, some call it a Japanese pancake, but it's not sweet. So it's got batter in it. It's got cabbage is usually the main ingredient. Maybe some other vegetables, maybe a little bit of pork. And then of course the toppings, but, but it resembles a pancake in sort of texture, an unsweetened pancake. A lot of onions in here. There's mochi inside. Mine. There's mochi, that's what I was gonna say. It's a little bit chewy. <laughs> mm-hmm. 
so it's got some pounded rice in it as well too to soften it i think it needs more sauce though i think on the next yeah. one we're gonna put more sauce pretty darn good though and it came from a vending machine hello i mean that's amazing what's in the next machine oh the sushi uh-huh some fried rice spaghetti mabo tofu which is tofu and a chinese meat sauce double curry rice omelet sounds good we haven't tried the we haven't tried the curry yet let's get the double curry that sounds good 600 yen Curry, which one's the curry? What number? Number Cut one. It. Number one. Right. Next machine. Oh boy. Different types of buns, curry buns and things. Oh, they got some meat in here too. Oh, oh, they've got barbecue chicken, Jidori style in uh, the Miyazaki chicken. 250. We can put that on the curry. Number four. It's always nice to have toppings on curry. Oh yeah, we'll heat that up, put it on the curry, nice. There it is, curry time. You don't get very much, but this stuff's delicious. I've had it before. Okay. Round two, we've got curry and jidori chicken or barbecue chicken from Kyushu. This is, it's a type of barbecue chicken where it's made over the sumi, right? The sumi charcoal, yeah. which is a Japanese type of charcoal. So we're gonna add that to the curry. This is our specialty. Cause there's probably meat in it already. It looks like meat, potatoes, whatever, the standard. I'm gonna mix it up and then we'll just, we'll split it. Looks like there's cheese on top and what is this? Is that potato or garlic? Potato maybe. And then there's rice on the bottom. Going in for the curry. It's called double curry out of the machine. And then we've added the chicken. So let's see how it is. I got some uh, shredded beef in the first bite, not the chicken. So it comes with the beef. So it's beef curry and we added chicken to it. Did we mess it up? <laughs> we added barbecue chicken to beef curry. <laughs> Typically Japanese curry, is, it's a bit more watery. This is very thick. Yeah. What do you think of the meat? Did you get any of the chicken? Smoky. Mmm. That's what it is. The jidori chicken is very smoky because it's cooked over the sumi charcoal. It kind of reminds me of Hayashi curry a little bit. Yeah? Yeah. Right? It's got that beefiness to it. Next up, ladies and gentlemen, we've got the soups up at the top. We've got some canned fish here. Then there's some rice packs in the middle. And what is this? Some uh, ramen and a uh, cup of coffee down here. Yeah, you get two. For, yeah, okay. Let's get, this, let's get the saba mackerel. There's three different kinds of mackerel, I think. And there's tuna here as well too, magudo. Let's get this one. This one is miso flavor, I think. Is that right? Yeah, it's miso. Okay. Number 31, 200 yen. All right, that's what it looks like. Saba, horse mackerel. And to go with that, we're gonna need some rice. There it is, there's the rice. I think that's flavored rice, isn't it? Yeah. It's mishy. And let's try the smoked cheese. Or... Oh, standing up, look at that. How rare is that? Nice, all right, we got the smoked cheese. Woo! We're gonna put this over the rice. 
Look at these beautiful chunks of mackerel that you get. <laughs> it's got the skin on it. Ah, oh, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Get the sauce on here. Looking good. Cheers to you guys. Vending machine madness on a ferry in Japan. This is crazy. I've never seen vending machines like this on a boat, like full service hot foods vending machines. Mm. I feel like I'm on a world cruise. It's like going on an around the world cruise, isn't it? Yeah. Right? Kinda. <laughs> Kinda, sorta. All right, here it is. I mean, look at, does that not look gourmet or what? This came out of a can. This came out of a little package but it looks gourmet now, does it not? I'm just gonna try a piece of the fish by itself. Yeah. It's very tender. Oh, 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 it's in a sweet sauce, isn't it? Yeah. And this is a flavored rice. This is not just typical, right? Yeah. It's a meishi, so it's been stewed. Wow, they go well together. Typically you, with fish, you would just eat just regular steamed rice with this, but you know, they had the flavored rice, so why not, right? Yeah. Mmm. I can't get over how good this fish is. And the rice too. I mean, both. Then they nailed it with the sauces, right? The sauce is good. Let's take it up one level higher with some smoked cheese. Let's throw some of that on top. Can't say no to smoked cheese. You only get five pieces in here, that's it. Fish and smoked cheese. Do they go together? That's the question. Not really. <laughs> <laughs> The smoked cheese and the rice together, do they blend? Okay, here we go. It's better than, than it was with the yeah. fish, but still not quite there. When you're on a ferry and you got vending machines with all different kinds of stuff, you gotta try to mix and match, right? You gotta try to find the amazing combo that this winner, right? <laughs> It is now dinner time on the ferry. Are you hungry at all or tired of these vending machines yet? I'm tired. I'm tired of the vending yeah. machines, but but I'm starving. All right, what are we gonna have? What is that, kakiyagi, kakiyagi soba? Tempura soba? You like that, right? Yeah. All right, see, there's still stuff in here. You're giving up too early. For me. Yeah, tempura buckwheat soba noodles. It's good to me. Good size. Price is uh, less than three dollars. Yeah, that looks acceptable. Okay, let's heat that up. So the way you make the tempura soba is you put in the sauce first, followed by hot water. So let's spice it up a little bit, huh? Some red pepper chili flakes in Japanese togarashi, right? Yeah. It's all good. Mmm. I didn't get any of the tempura though. You gotta get the tempura with it, with the noodles. It's a little on the soggy side, the tempura, but yeah. you know, I mean, for less than $3, and the spice level's right, isn't it? 
Yeah. The perfect level of spice on there. I prefer the udon noodles. Oh, you like the udon yeah. noodles? Okay. I actually like the soba, the thin noodles. Yeah, well, that's where we differ. Let me get a little bit of soup. Oh, the soup's on par, right? That tastes, the soup's really good. That's yeah, pretty right, good. The soup's good, right? Yeah. I mean, certainly you're still hungry, right? Yeah. Okay, well, let's see what we haven't tried so far. Oh, hell, whoa, is that spaghetti? Meat sauce spaghetti? And then that's uh, napoletan. That's like the classic Japanese style spaghetti, right? Yeah. It, it's ketchup, isn't it? Ketchup and like there's sausages and bell pepper and stuff. Which do you like better? The meat sauce? I mean, the meat sauce is standard everywhere all over the world. So let's try that one. The original Japanese spaghetti. 500. Oh yeah. So this one, do we need to poke a hole in it? No, we don't actually. Oh, because it's right here? That's gonna yeah. so automatically that will let air out? Yeah. Okay. Number six. Drink time. What are you gonna get? Tendency. What does that mean? Pure water. Pure water cider. Oh from Santori. Okay. There it is. Hello, Santori. What are you selling? Beers, premium malts, rich malt, and the two highs. Let's go for one of the tall boys. There it is. Oh, I can smell it. I smell like jalapenos or something. It worked. It didn't, yeah, it didn't yeah, explode. It nice. It's hot. Ooh. See what it looks like. Oh, super fragrant, huh, the smell. Looks like some hot dogs and bell peppers and it's a sort of a ketchup based sauce, I guess. Cheers, Mega, to our last meal on the ferry. This is actually meal four of four that we've had. And there's still stuff in these machines that we haven't tried yet, right? That's right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, cheers. Cheers to the ferries of Japan and their new vending machine service. We thank you. We salute you. <laughs> and you know, beer from a vending machine is pretty rare in Japan these days. They used to be everywhere, you know, indoors, outdoors, but now just in very controlled environments, it's very hard to find them, say like on the street, like you used to be able to. Yeah. yeah. Pretty good, refreshing, that's for sure. It's definitely rich malt, for sure. This is Haposhi, which is a different, it's got more hops than regular beer, so it's a new different classification. It's cheaper than actual beer. All right, has this cooled down enough? What do you think? I think so. All right, let's do it. It's kid friendly. Yeah. <laughs> right? And you know what, I like it better than meat sauce. Yeah, me too. I like the ketchup. Just, it's more tangy than the, than a meat. The meat sauce is just so basic, yeah. right? I mean, that's what they serve everywhere in Japan, but this is the original. Nice and soft. Mm -hmm. I wish my mom would have fed this to me as a kid when, when she served spaghetti, but we just had meat sauce. That was it. It was boring. This is better. I think I actually like spaghetti now. I had given up on spaghetti for many, many years, but wow, this is different. What's it called again? Napolitan. Napolitan. So it's a mix of flavors, basically. Napolitan, right? No other condiments required. You don't need any, any spice or anything on it. And it's also kid-friendly, right? A kid could eat that. Yeah. yeah. What else they got in the D machine? Uh, sushi, we had that yesterday. What's this? Is that what I think it is? Is this a pizza pizza? All right, we got to try the... I didn't know they had pizza here. Oh, my God. Best day of my life. Pizza from a vending machine? Oh. Number seven. Where is it? There it is, right, right back there. Oh, pretty good size. 
pizzas. All right, so here we are, two pizzas. What do you do? You just you just take them out of the packages. And, oh, that's what cooks the crust, right? So, we gotta make sure it's centered on there. Yeah. Oh yeah. Look at that fits in there, perfect. Two of them. <laughs> nice. Yeah, I like that. And what number is it gonna be? Pizza number seven. seven. So now we're searching for a topping for our pizzas, and it's pretty much looking like different types of fish, canned fish. Um, well, we did the saba already earlier today. How about the, um, this is Magodo, right? Yeah. Why don't we try that for 200 yen? It's in the black can right there. Only in Japan, fish on your pizza. Okay, coming out of the can and going into a plate here. Okay, Maguro, we're gonna heat this up. Yeah. Uh, it's like our own little kitchen here, isn't it? Pizza, everybody. All right, let's get some. Okay, so let's eat this one first. This one came out of the microwave first, and it looks like you can cut it into pieces. There's some perforations here. Ready? Let's do this together. See if we can. Can you? Yep. We don't have a knife, but I think it's doable. This is great, huh? Pizza from a vending machine. This is a first. Oh my goodness! Look how cute that is. <laughs> right? We got two yeah. of them. So the first one. Let's just try it like it is first, and then we're gonna add toppings to the second one. Okay, does that sound fair? Yeah. Okay, so I'm just gonna go on with my fingers. I mean, you could use chopsticks, but, right? Nah. Either way, right? Okay, as is. So it's got salami, and there's what? There's corn on here, and it's supposed to have four different types of cheeses, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go for it. Better than I thought. I was gonna say, maybe if I was seven years old. <laughs> the toppings are there. Yeah. It's got flavor. Well, this just, this tastes more like bread to me than pizza crust, right? I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's got cheese on it. I mean, you can't beat the price. What, two bucks, 250? Yeah. Oh, was it 500 for the two? It was 500. Mm-hmm. So that's uh, yeah, $2.40 each. We're not done yet. We're gonna make this taste better. Let's add habanero sauce. Are you good with heat on your pizza? Like spice? Yeah. Okay. Then I'll use the whole bag. Go bold or go home. Actually, we are going home. We'll be home at 5 a.m. tomorrow morning. <laughs> All right. There <laughs> you go. Pizza round two. Wow, <laughs> I really like that now. I take back what I said about the bread. Now it really tastes good. You add a little bit of spice, it just, oh, magical. But wait, we've got more. And on this one, we're gonna add, what was this that was in the can? I forgot already. Maguro. Maguro, tuna, seasoned tuna. I'm not sure what the, the seasoning is, but, but is that too much? <laughs> I, hopefully I'm not ruining it, but. Magudo from a can. Also came from the vending machine. We're, we're trying to make our own gourmet vending machine food here. That's what's going on. I mean, it smells really good, right? It's in a, definitely like some kind of savory sauce, right? Yeah. I smell the shoyu and the sweetness. Habanero or no habanero? That's the question. We'll have a spicy side and we'll have a no spice side. He goes no spice. <laughs> I go full spice. All right, here we go. Magudo tuna pizza, everybody. It's not the best pizza topping I've ever had. However, it's meaty. Yeah. It gives it more substance, more it makes it more filling. And the spice level, just, yeah, it's all good for me. Mm-hmm. For you guys watching at home, go ahead, get in there. What's it gonna be? Would you, you prefer the spice, habanero sauce, or no spice? 
or did we ruin this pizza and the first one was better? Let us know in the comments. Hey, 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 we've arrived at the ice cream machine by the Morinaga company, which is rare. They rarely have Morinaga ice cream machines. I think this is the only one I've ever seen. So what are we gonna get? Have you decided? I, I'm kind of interested in the, uh, the Azuki one. There we go. Looking good. Looking really good. I've never had Azuki ice cream before, ever. A biscuit with, so it's like an ice cream sandwich with the biscuit, that looks interesting. I don't think I've ever seen that. Whoa, oh, that looks interesting. Yeah. We've got our two ice cream bars. Let's rip into them, shall we? Well, mine is the, what is this called? Monaco style? Yeah. Mon Monaca. Oh, how cute. It's like it's in a little, it's in a little chest. Look at that, it's in a suitcase. That's pretty cool. I like that. <laughs> and you're, yeah, look at that. So they're calling that a biscuit sandwich? Huh, interesting. All right. Mine butt breaks off in sections, I think. Or does it? Yeah. So there we go, and the cross section. All right, let's go for it. The Monaca is, uh, I don't know, tastes like cardboard. <laughs> <laughs> this is an ice cream sandwich in a cardboard box. How about your ice cream sandwich? How, what is, how's the biscuit? The banana goes good with a biscuit. Is it like a cookie type of biscuit, or is it more like a cracker? I mean, is it sweet? It's like a cookie. Okay. Uh, English style. You want to trade? Okay. Okay. And then we can say which one we like better, right? Yeah. You gotta compare them. Okay. Compare, contrast. Yeah. I mean, I will say the Azuki is good. I like the Azuki. That gives it flavor. All right. Oh. I would have to say this wins for me. It's like an ice cream sandwich, but it's not that sweet as it normally would be. Yeah. Like in America. Uh, now it is time to rate this meal. We've had lunch on this boat, we've had dinner on this boat, and we've had two other previous meals on the same boat when we are going to our destination. We're coming back now. So this is gonna finish out this two-part series. So we're just rating today's meals, okay? Okay. Where are you gonna go, Mega? On the one to six air cut scale. Oh, do you think? It four? Four out of six, okay. Last time he gave it a perfect six out of six. So maybe vending machines, foods, you gotta take them in uh, maybe a little bit at a time. Maybe maybe once a week, maybe would be better. Yeah. We've had a lot of it in the last two days. So just saying, just saying. But I'm gonna go six out of six because the stuff that we had today, I think was just as good as it was yesterday. And I'm not tired of it yet. In fact, I'm gonna come back for a midnight snack later on and I'm not even gonna shoot any video. So there you go. It's a six out of six. I'm giving away six. No, I'm giving away three of the get some snack packs. All you need to do is put a comment down below and you'll automatically be entered for your chance to win. And Mega Brain, you're gonna choose the winners, okay? okay. You're gonna go down in the comments and he's gonna he's gonna check check for the winners. And you're looking for uh, creative and heartfelt and what else? What other kind of comments do you like? Funny ones. Funny ones. Well, there you go. All right, so there you go, guys. We'd like to thank you guys for watching our little adventure on the boat, the ferry. And we look forward to uh, reading your comments. And we'll see you in the next one. Eric and Maga saluting you out.